Hi guys, Raza here from Fine Focus Films. So we are here today in Islamabad Zoo as you can see behind me. And today was a very important day because the Four Paws International team which has arrived in Islamabad, they took the blood samples of the elephant named Kawan. So we will keep posting some more videos about the development related to Kawan. So day before yesterday, there was some news on few TV channels that uh, Kawan, the elephant, has been given electric shock for the purpose of taking its blood samples. It was completely false and fake news and we should not give any importance to such news. Such reports are only made to create sensation and sensationalism. The purpose is to make people believe in them and to create ambiguity in people's mind regarding such operation or something which is already going on in a successful way. The Four Paws International team is here. They brought all their equipment here. They are very much caring for the animals. They know their thing, what they are doing. They are very trained people. They are very uh, skilled people and they have done such kind of operations in other countries as well from where they have moved animals from one place to another safely. So guys, as you can see the team, they are right now doing some work in the field. They have already sedated the elephant. You can see in the footage, the elephant will uh, slow down quietly when its tail stops moving, when it stops moving his head. Uh, the team is constantly checking that uh, how much of the resistance or how much uh, of the uh, power the animal have. So the team is constantly monitoring the elephant and its behavior. Uh, when the elephant starts, uh, when the elephant stops moving its tail and uh, stops moving its head and its ears, and then what they do is they are going to take the blood sample from the back of this ear. You can see all of it in the video. So you can see all of this process in the video, how they are taking the blood samples. Uh, they have brought a lot of equipment here in Pakistan and uh, they have brought uh, very skillful and very talented team members who, who are very professional and who know their job, what they are doing and they know how to do their jobs. They have uh, rescued the animals before from war zones like in Syria, in Iraq before this and uh, they have got the whole setup here they are going to take the blood samples they're going to take the blood samples and then they are going to give an antidote to elephant and they're going to check the results of the blood samples here on which they're going to check the blood sample results and they will see how the elephant is uh, performing so they're going to perform all the tests for this elephant the biological test the medical test uh, the x-rays, the ultrasounds, they're going to check in all possible ways because they're professionals and they don't want any mishap to happen. So today they have taken the blood samples. Today was uh, to get access to the barn and uh, to make a quick health um, check and uh, to check the spotty conditions and for this we have to take blood to analyze the blood and this is only possible uh, under full sedation, semi sedation because it's not used to direct contact so and um, direct contact is not possible under this setting here so that's the reason why we have to do standing sedation and the, the, uh, our plan was that he's going into the, into the pool and that we have a standing sedation there because it's a kind of safe area for him and for, for people working with him. But he went out. So, and um, the worst thing what, what could happen is that when he is fully sedated and he is losing the coordination a little bit, that he is going to the mode or falling or drop off. And it, it was my concern. But everything went very well. So, uh, the drugs did their work. So, he was sedated, he was standing, and he was keeping balanced. Um, Quite good. So we were able to do everything what we what we would uh, what we planned. 
where he draw blood. It's going to be analyzed right now to test his um, liver or kidney function that gives us a good idea about his internal uh, organs, uh, about his um, general health condition. And uh, what you see from outside that he is obese. They really have to lose weight. He is uh, really obese. Uh, his um, nails are in very bad shape. But frankly, they are cracked. They're overgrown. They're malformated. So he has to receive very urgently uh, food training, food care. And um, then what you saw, not today, but the days before, that he is um, has a very severe stereotypic behavior. So he's very limited time. So, to summarize everything, so we are very happy that everything went well today. It was the first step to proceed to, uh, to help Kalan. And um, to summarize it shortly, yeah, he has to be physically and mentally challenged in the future, but he is facing a good life. Until we have all the results together, um, so far I don't see a, a big problem uh, with traveling. The next step would be, and that was the reason why we also took body measurements today, to, to have his body dimensions and cal can calculate his body weight, to design and build a, a proper training cage and transportation cage, and change here the design a little bit for a safe, um, protected contact management. And then uh, a trainer has to train him, uh, on a positive reinforcement to go into the cage and receive injection to receive blood sampling to receive uh, foot care foot trimming etc etc and um, these are the next steps and um, then from this everything is open either going somewhere i don't know but uh, even he's not traveling long distance these are the necessary changes he has to receive that uh, a treatment and foot care and uh, Skincare, it's possible in the future. Media people were here, a lot of uh, other organizations were here, Friends of Islamabad, Free the Wild International, their team was here, and the Four Paws team was already here. So, this is uh, the step for today. And for the next step, they're going to train the elephant for the cage training. And then the other uh, samples will also be taken, some other tests will also be performed for uh, Kavan. So this is it for today from me for now and stay tuned for more videos. I will upload more videos and more uh, procedures, whatever is going to happen here in the zoo. I will bring the updates for you. So stay tuned and uh, don't forget to comment in the comment section. Thank you. <laughs>